All right, good evening is gray matter. So we're fucking discussing Naruto because people are still complaining about the pairings. Even now, Oruto didn't do a whole fucking time skipping shit. And we're still complaining that Hinata and Naruto got together and it should have been Sakura, which makes no damn sense. And they're making some of the dumbest fucking arguments. You know, Hinata's love doesn't doesn't mean anything. It doesn't rule all. She should have been the one who was helping Naruto out back when they were kids and not Aruka, forgetting that Sakura was nowhere to be found in that entire situation. So if that's your premise, Sakura wasn't there either. So why the fuck should Naruto and Sakura be there together? You know, in a relationship. It makes no damn sense. By that criteria, they both shouldn't be together. <laughs> Let, let's just be blunt. Hinata or Sakura shouldn't be with Naruto by that criteria. Then we want to use the pain art. We want to talk about how, you know, Sakura was made out to be useless in the in the anime, but in the manga, she actually fought the, the pains, which makes it worse. Because if she was able to, to fight the pains in the manga, she should have jumped in and helped Naruto when he was out there by himself, struggling. In the anime, Hinata went out there and, and you know, tried to save him. And damn near died in the process. But that was her big confession. Apparently in the manga, she was just playing on going out there and dying. Okay. But Sakura was nowhere to be found in either situation. And it's worse in the manga because it was shown that she clearly had the ability to fight back. She didn't do shit. We fast forward. The whole, whole shit with Sasuke. She's still chasing this dude. Somebody even tried to justify the whole her going to Naruto telling him that she loved him. Just to try to get him to not chase Sasuke. But that that by itself was fucking dumb. Because you're playing with this man's feelings. And he knew she was lying. Which is why he told her to it. To you know her face. I don't like it when people lie. Like fuck, fuck Naruto up so bad. He had a he damn, he fucking had a panic attack. I'm not even joking. But I'm, I'm done just you know using the fucking the anime alone or the, the manga alone to try to discuss this shit we're just going to get realistic with this you shouldn't be chasing after nobody period if they don't like you let them go that's the best thing you can do for yourself you're just going to keep hurting yourself even more naruto saw that sakura was still chasing sasuke still lusting after sasuke Sasuke was the one making her wet, not him. So he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go where I'm loved. That's what happened. And he built a family with her. With Hinata. What's so wrong about that? If anything, it teaches people to move the fuck on. Stop chasing. Stop hoping and believing for some shit that's not gonna happen. Like, say, say it did happen, right? Say, say Sakura just magically just, she magically had the epiphany. Oh, the guy I, I really needed was right here in front of me. That, you know, she's been fucking bypassing and putting on the, the damn back burner for years now. Now she's ready. Now, now after her options are gone, right? She exhausted all her other options. Now, now Naruto's the guy. I get the fuck out of here. The only difference between th that situation and real life where men get played on a daily basis is that Sakura didn't get fucked on yet. That's the only difference. And I guarantee you if Sasuke wanted to, she would have. 
He been the flower to fuck out that bitch. And she been in bliss. Fucking digmatized. Over this man that really didn't give a fuck about her. And then after all of that, she tried to come back to Naruto. Like, fuck out of here, bro. All her options was gone, and now she got to pick Naruto as the back burner boy, her last choice. Like, that shit is a lie. Like, if, if that was Naruto's ending, i have been upset, personally. Like, damn, this man about to be miserable. He about to pay the, the ultimate price for her flat ass. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, and then, then was even more fucked up is that people are mad that Hinata became a housewife. So what? Ain't nothing wrong with that. There are women in the world that actually like being home with their kids and like cooking for the family. I know it's, it's crazy with all this feminism and and girl boss bullshit going on nowadays. But there are women who are traditional. Hinata is the traditional woman. That's just how she is. She never liked fighting like that anyway. Remember her backstory? Do you remember? Hanabi was a better fighter than, than Hinata. And her dad, Hinata's dad was like, pissed off at Hinata because she wasn't a better fighter he was fucking like disappointed like disgrace like she was bringing shame to the Hyuga clan because of how bad she was at ninjutsu like it, it, it was crazy in her backstory and she had to work hard to get to where she was at you know now Like, what's to say that that shit ain't connected to some trauma? Maybe she was just like, I don't want to keep doing all this shit. I would rather be a mother. Maybe, maybe that's what her thought process was in universe. But you're mad because she's a fucking housewife. She actually respects Naruto. Naruto goes out, he works, and she respects that. He comes home, she ain't bringing no drama and no bullshit to him. They actually smile when they're together. Like, man, come on, bro. That's a bad thing. It should have been Sakura. Are you fucking serious? She ain't appreciate Naruto when he was there before all of that. She like she really had her chance that entire time. And she spent that shit facing the dude who went rogue. And then she later on got piped down by this dude, birthed his child, and he wasn't even around. He was fucking ghost. Like there was a whole arc about that shit. In Boruto. Or not an arc but. That Serato wanted to know what her dad was like. Like are you serious? And don't get me started about what, what a relationship is like with a chick that you know never really liked you in the first place there's going to be nothing but stipulations there's going to be nothing but hoops to jump through and then y'all get married and shit she gonna be withholding every form of you know intimacy because she never liked you in the first place you was the one chasing you was the one waiting which chicks find you know unattractive like there, there's there's so much shit that that goes wrong with this situation. Like get the fuck out of here. Then y'all saying that he not to should have moved on after the pain art because Naruto didn't acknowledge her feelings. But y'all still want Naruto to chase after Sakura. It makes no damn sense. And then he started throwing like random ass shade. Like oh you only like Hinata because big boobs. It's like, are you fucking serious? Y'all just grasping at straws at this point. Like, seriously. So, like, if they can't 
if they can't really like win an argument or bring anything actually logical to the point they, they'll, they'll try to like throw shade and, and insult you or try to call you some pervert or some shit like it is ridiculous realistically it would make more sense for naruto to get with the chick that actually likes him versus the one that he had to fucking chase i, I i'm repeating myself this is a reflection of real life if anything this will teach you know i know an anime teaching you some shit but they, but you know art can give you life lessons it's a teach young men to leave these chicks alone what did Naruto do? He focused on his fucking goal. And he went where he was loved. That's what he did. That's what every man should do. And what does Sakura get for chasing the bad boy? She's a single mom. And you could be like, well, Sasuke's home now. Well, she was a single mom for a while. If anything, that's the most realistic shit. <laughs> shit, man. Like, fuck. This is what happens when you chase people who don't want you. Naruto made the right decision. And he actually... Because people argue with Naruto thought she was weird and everything but it's like bro she was stalking him like and every time they spoke face to face she couldn't even look him in the eyes and complete a sentence she was always blushing and shy and shit naruto being a young boy he just didn't understand at the time goes back to what i was saying he grew the fuck up that's what happened i don't, I don't know how else to put it Like, in all honesty, this is just a, a fucking, you know, anime pairing. But this is a conversation that needs to be had as well because this shit happens in real life a lot. Like, move on. There, there, there are some situations, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, there are some dudes who eventually get the chick that they want, but she gotta already had... I mean, I'm not even finna fucking, um entertain that shit if she come back you and you still want her she gotta prove to you that she actually want you and you gotta make her prove that shit because if not nigga, it's gonna be hell on earth I don't, I don't give a fuck what you gotta say overbearing is shit focus on yourself <laughs> Really, that's what you really should be doing. Shit, fuck around and get with a chick and she be cheating on you and shit. Like, how much you want to bet if if Sakura got with Naruto and Sasuke showed his face, she'll be all conflicted. You don't need that shit in your relationship. Oh, Sasuke's back? Fuck out of here, bro. Sarada, Sarada would exist. Or Sarada. I said Sarada. Whatever. Sarada would exist either way. That that That's what I'm getting at. Like, shit. I, I'm, fu I'm fucking done. If, if y'all want to say it don't make sense, you can go ahead. You can use the manga and remove all the, the filler, quote-unquote filler. And just keep keep hoping and believing on some bullshit that ain't gonna happen. Because Naruto and Sakura is not happening. Unless Naruto becomes some dirty ass cheater. Which will be horrible for his character. But yeah. I'm through. <laughs>